Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Doyle and we're in Animoto.com. I'm going to take you through the steps today on how to create your digital book trailer. So first thing we'll do is we'll log in. You're going to have all the uh, information to do that. Once you get into the Animoto dashboard, we're going to hit create here and this is going to take us to the styles. Um, so for the style, you want it to go along with the theme or mood of your book. Uh, you'll notice that uh, some of the styles are only accessible if you have a pro account, which we do not. I'm going to go into Animoto Original. The other nice thing is it allows you to preview the video before you select it, so you get a sense of what it's going to look like. I already know what this looks like, so I'm going to go into Create Video. And at any time, if you want to choose your style as you're um, putting your video together, you're able to do that uh, within the My Animoto Video Dashboard. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to start um, bringing in, uploading our images that you'd have already saved on your stick. And you'll notice over here too, this is your total video length, so you have about 30, 40 seconds, so you want to keep that in mind. Okay, so you can either do your images and text here, or you can click over here, doesn't matter. I'm going to upload some pictures. Okay, so the first one we know we want is a picture of the book cover. So that's coming up for us now. There it is. And with this, uh, I am going to add some text. So by double clicking on the text frame, and where it says add a caption. So I'm going to put from award winning author Gary Paulson. Okay. And once I have that and I like it, I'm going to hit save. And then I'll go in and I'm going to add another picture. This time I'm looking for a picture of the plane, so that's uploaded there. And I'm also going to add some text uh, to this picture, so I'll just set my cursor there. And important to note, you only have uh, about 40 characters. So you're going to notice that you're going to have to extend some sentences onto the next text frame uh, or just keep them short. Okay. So I'm going to add another picture here, go back into Upload Pictures. Um, and this time I'm going to look for a picture of the wilderness. So that's uploading there. And again, I'm going to add some text to this one. So I click on there, go down to Add a Caption. And I'm continuing the sentence from the previous one. This is one way to get around the limited characters that you have. Okay. And uh, we'll add one more picture there. Now you'll be uploading anywhere from 5 to 10, depending upon uh, if you're having frames with just text, um, or if you're doing something that um, is a combination of both. Okay, and I'm going to add one more here. Uh, let's see if I can get that right. Okay, there we go. All right, the other thing, nice thing about Animoto is I can move things around, so I can slide things around if I want to uh, change the order. Uh, another thing I can do is I can spotlight any of these text frames. So if I want to put a little more emphasis and uh, on a particular image or text, uh, I can do that. So we just get to see that a little bit longer. If we look back over at our time check, we're at 21 seconds, so we have a little ways to go. Um, now the other thing I can do is preview the video. Now um, I've already checked out the music and this isn't quite what I'm looking for. So we're going to go down into the soundtrack where I can change my music. Probably easiest just go into the full music library. 
and you can preview any of these songs that you think uh, might be appropriate that fits the theme of your book. Um, I already know the one I'm looking for, okay, called Arcadia. Here it is here. Okay, so I'm going to just put that there, and uh, if I wanted to listen to it, I could now, but I already know what it sounds like. Uh, right down here, sorry. And we go into Add Song. Okay. Now, occasionally you want to hit the Save button. Uh, right now, I'm going to preview my video just to see how it's coming uh, together. Uh, up where it says Title, you want to put the name of the book. Okay, don't have to worry about the date. And in the description, we'll just say it's a book trailer. Um, okay. So here we go. We're going to have a little look at it now. It takes a few seconds. I'm going to stop there so it plays out uh, the 1819 seconds. Now you don't want to produce at this point. You want to go back to continue editing. However, when you are ready to produce, uh, you'll hit this and this is where you will share it with me. So I'm going to go back to continue in editing. I'm going to add the rest of my uh, text and images. Again, remembering to save. Okay. And then once I'm ready to uh, produce it, I want to put in here uh, book trailer. Okay. Oh, and it's playing for me again. We'll put book trailer. Okay. And we'll just put our class name by four or five Doyle. Okay, and then you would hit produce. So folks, uh, that should help get you going on the creation of your digital book trailer. Hope you have lots of fun.